Pioneer Plaza, and we're asking how you inform yourself. Okay, what do you read? What do you read, sir? Um, usually my phone or my just emails what on my laptop. What, what sources do you look at? Um, just all kinds. Just what teachers post. Um, kind of like news about what's going on on different events. Yeah. How about television? Do you look at television? No. No I, television? No. Okay. So where do you get your primary news then? Um, what sources? What newspapers? Or? Pretty much just the internet. What on the internet? Um, like Facebook, social media. Media outlets. You look at the Times, uh, the Washington Post, the Los Angeles Times, anything like that? Uh, sometimes on the internet, if there's something interesting that I like to read. Yeah. Do you feel that you're adequately prepared to deal with all the confusion in the media these days? Uh, me personally, no, but I don't know about other people. Okay, do you have a plan to read more or different in the future? Uh, not yet, but I'm, I might start thinking of one. Okay, maybe a little <laughs> discussion will motivate you to do that. What do you think? Possibly. Yeah, and don't forget, Think Tech Hawaii, right? ThinkTechHawaii.com. It's on the internet. You're going to be there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Nice job, guys. Okay. Well, can we talk to you? Oh, no. I mean, baby. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk to you for a minute? Enrich your coffee experience? No, okay, all right. We're not gonna do that then. <clears throat> There's not enough of a crowd here, Let's actually. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> all right, look. We're doing a little survey gotta, in front of the Pioneer Plaza uh -huh. building. Yeah. We're asking people about their news sources. What a surprise. What a surprise this <laughs> might be. So can you give us a handle, sir? On, um, let me put it this way, Nick Sexton, sir. Yeah. On what you look at, what you read, how you get informed. Uh, Think Tech Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's a perfect answer, but yeah. what else? Uh, I like to look at uh, the New York Times and that's really pretty much it. I use my phone a lot for, uh, yeah. The New York Times on your phone. Yeah, that's that's. So do you feel like that's you're it. getting enough information? Do you feel that you're getting it straight? Do you feel like you're adequately prepared to deal with all the onslaught of, of, of information in this new administration? Uh, I, I, I found the most recent news to be uh, pretty provocative. Granted, I don't subscribe to the New York Times, so I get whatever articles they wish to, you know blast to their uh, their non-subscriber audience, so I'd like a little bit more in-depth uh, coverage. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, Nick Sexton, sir. All right, thanks. All right. Nice yes, to sir. meet you. Yeah, wow. Okay, let's look for somebody else now, uh, so Gordon can do this. Nice to meet you. Uh, That's really yeah. Funny. Excuse me, madam, are we out of, out of time or what? Okay. Uh, Madam, can I can I talk to you for a moment? Can I talk to you for a moment? No. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I thought we could. Ah. Uh, okay. I, excuse me, gentlemen. Do you mind if I interrupt for a moment? How are we doing? Yeah, we, we're doing good. We have we're live streaming right now. This is live stream. This is going on the air right now. This is uh, Dr. Meta over here. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Meta, we we're asking everybody in front of Pioneer Plaza the same question. Where are you getting your news these days, and have your news habits changed since the inauguration? Where am I getting the news? I'm getting it from, uh, I actually try to watch a little Fox, a little CNN, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, online, and... Uh, and then I subscribe to some uh, downline media sources. So, but I realize if I watch CNN, I don't really know what's going on. And if I watch Fox, I don't know what's going on because they've got such strong biases. Yeah. So how do you resolve those biases? You compare, contrast, you make analysis of who might be telling you the true story? Well, I write a thesis, you see, and I, I send that thesis out <laughs> to a bunch of other colleagues, and then we connoiter and get the right answer. Okay. No, we just, you know, I'm listening to both sides. I'm looking at it, and I do one of these things, and I get some, I do a little bit more research when I'm interested. Or I listen to Sean Spicer, because he's got to tell the truth. We're going to stop right there, then. Okay. We have what we want here. <laughs> have a good day. Thank you, Dr.